You know, at this point, I'm really struggling to make all of these motherboard videos stand out. And when MSI sent over the MSI X670E Tomahawk for me to review, I was like, I mean, it's awesome and all, but again, it's yet another mid-range AM5 motherboard. And thankfully, at least it's a pretty good mid-range AM5 motherboard. Starting off, as usual, CPU power. Here we have 14 plus 2 plus 1 power phases, rated at a maximum of 80 amps, with two full 8 pins for CPU power as well. And honestly, I don't know why I always start off with the VRM because it really doesn't matter nowadays, though unfortunately we only see four SATA connectors, which I still think is unacceptable, especially in an X670E motherboard. Does it really matter to most people? No, it really doesn't, but again, it's about a principle here, okay? The rear I.O. is pretty fantastic and definitely a standard feature for this motherboard, and you would expect it to be good given how this motherboard will set you back $300.